Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies for goodie. This has been one of my most requested videos is skincare. I'm going to show you my night skincare routine and my day skincare routine slash makeup prep. First and foremost, I always, always take off my jewelry immediately once I'm like... Nighttime is done, earrings off, everything off. Is I take my contacts off, I just grab them like this. My hands are always clean anytime I'm touching my eyes, especially like putting my contacts in or removing them. This is the contact solution I use, it's from Costco. And we're gonna just add it here. And I wanna be like as thorough, as thorough as possible. So here it is. You wanna make sure you switch out your contact container once or twice a month because bacteria can build up on there. I used to work in an ophthalmology department and I remember thinking, oh, you just keep it, you keep cleaning it. No, they were appalled when I said that. I brush my teeth, I floss, brush my teeth, and put my retainer on. I'm gonna put my hair up. This is important. You just want everything out of your face, I mean. And I got this little thing from Makeup Revolution, so it's super cute. It really is tight. This is the two toothpaste I use, Colgate and Sensodyne. I use a tongue scraper and a Colgate toothbrush. I switch out my toothbrush every few months. And another reason, I always brush my teeth before I wash my face because when you're brushing your teeth, your mouth is dirty. You feel like you spit up all the stuff, all the gunk that is in your mouth. So I feel like once you brush your teeth, you're done. When you wash your face, you wash anything remnants that is around your mouth. So that's why I've always done it. That's my reason for brushing my teeth always first. I'm not doing this in the bathroom because I just have better lighting in the studio. And when I tell you how important it is to take your makeup off literally every day, it is so important. That's one of the things I feel like that maintain my skin as healthy as it is. I don't have sensitive skin. I don't have acne prone skin. So I'm lucky with that. Whether you wear makeup or you don't wear makeup, wash your face at night. You're bringing in from the outside is on your skin and then you're gonna sleep, rub it onto your pillowcase, rub it back into your face. That's just a mess. When I don't wear makeup, I still wash my face. I just won't use a cleansing oil. What I use is a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. The balm is a thicker texture versus this is a straight up oil. It really depends on your preference. I like both. I go either way. You don't really have to go expensive with this because because as long as it gets the job done and it melts the makeup away, that's a good cleansing balm because you're just gonna wipe it off anyway. So I'm gonna use Max Cleansing Oil, the Hyper Real Fresh Canvas Oil. This is great. And what a cleansing oil is, it loosens this makeup. So you see how this makeup looks pretty good. It's not really gonna break apart. It's not ready to come off. I'm not looking gastada quite yet. It's gonna be tough to kind of remove. I always do like maybe two pumps. Go like this. You literally have an oil and when you rub it in, you're gonna just be gliding around your face like this. You're not gonna be doing anything other than this. And you see how just quickly it melts things away? You get your mouth, you get your neck, your ears, everything. I'll typically do this for, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, depending how long I've had my makeup on. Like this makeup, I've had it for about 11 hours. So it's a little bit looser, but let's say I did my makeup three hours ago, four hours ago. It's more likely a little more kind of stuck onto the skin. We need a little elbow grease, you know? Look, it's melted off. We can use a little bit on our eyes because it looks like the mascara is being a little stubborn. This doesn't burn my eyes. There are cleansing oils that do burn your eyes. So just keep in mind, I'll list a few of my favorite cleansing balms that I really like and oils. So what I'm gonna do is just put water on this, remove this, and I'll be back. Depending how good your cleansing oil is, it depends how well this is gonna look at this point. This is a good one, so once you just put water, I just rubbed it. Skin is semi-clean, not all the way clean. When it comes to cleansers, AKA face washes, this is the part called double cleansing. The oil's the first part, this is the second part. I love both of these, but you guys, when it comes to cleansers, you can go cheap. I promise you, I've been using Head & Shoulders for four or five months now. Because it has zinc in it, 
it kills any bacteria you have on your skin. Again, I don't have acne prone skin or sensitive skin, so this really works well. I mainly use this at night. Face washes I'll use in the daytime, either these two, I really like them, they clean well. That's what I'm all about. I want things to clean well, and then this Osea one. So as my face is still wet, I'll get a little bit of this, the head and shoulders, and we're going to clean our face. Head and shoulders will burn your eyes, so keep them closed as I have mine open. Hold on, let me get more water. I personally like soaps that lather well. What I also get is this Eco Tools, Tools brush. I love these brushes because it really cleans your skin well. I use these every time I wear makeup. If I'm not wearing makeup, I won't use this. Say you shouldn't use like this type of brush every day, but I do. I need my makeup to come off because look, there's gunk on there. Let me get my eyes now that I'm not talking as much. I'm going to go wash this off with water. What I like to do at night is use a paper towel. I'm going to tap my face, tap it dry. This way you can see if you have anything on your face. You'll see some sort of makeup on it if you do just wash your face again i've noticed that cleaning your face and washing your face as at night is really the most important step to keep your skin healthy i swear by this i've been doing a night care routine for a very long time and i've always it doesn't matter how late i come home it doesn't matter if i am drunk it doesn't matter i will roll myself in my bathroom and at least use soap and water i may not do all of the skincare but this makeup is coming off and that's always my goal so now that we're fully fresh faced and everything i usually use a toner i ran out of it because i get it from my dermatologist my night skin routine it changes i don't really use the same product every single day but what i do use on a weekly basis is the ordinary aha 30. this is a peeling solution it is so potent and anytime i use this i find that my skin is super super soft you know how sometimes you feel like bumps within your skin Skin. You, they're not really pimples they're just like bumps that sometimes come up by the way since I've been using head and shoulders like I don't really have those anymore if you do or you mask once a week I recommend this one I do recommend use it for only 10 minutes do not use it longer because it will peel your stuff oh, look Whew, it's gonna sting a little bit it's stinging right now kind of early I wanted to do my skincare super early so I can show you in daylight how my skin looks it's now been 10 minutes so I'm gonna clean this off just with water be back skin is good to go if I am not masking I will use a retinol after I wash my face this is a like a tretinoin from Mexico so I'll alternate these two like let's say I mask today I'll use this maybe two times this week and this I may use one time this week. Sometimes I forget to mask and I'll just go in maybe three times a week with this. This one is a little more potent than this Murat. You need a prescription to get Tretinoin here and I don't have one. So like I said, I, I don't have sensitive skin. I have oily skin. I'm not a dermatologist. So FYI, but I'm just telling you what I do and what works for my skin. Again, I do not have sensitive skin. I know a lot of products can be a little bit too harsh for cer certain people or may not work so just the FYI what I use every single day though is this Sunday Riley retinol niacinamide eye serum I promise this has been a game changer in my night skincare routine you just need this much I think this is even too much but what I always do I always start here and start here and then go here I mean this is super thin it got rid of my milia these little bumps that grow here and i've been using it this is my second bottle i've used and i love so much i always go like this because sometimes my under eyes could be a little bit puffy in the morning time especially because i wake up at five someone asked me if i had filler underneath my my under i'm like oh no like i don't have filler in my face i was like oh my gosh also has a lot to do with what you eat if i eat salty things if i drink a lot the night Night before and I'm not drinking my water like I should my skin doesn't look great I'm super puffy by the way too. talking about water drink your water drink a liter to one gallon a day I'm always in between that sometimes it'll just be one liter sometimes it'll be a gallon but I always make sure I have my water intake that's another thing that keeps my skin super healthy I've never had facials done before I've never had extractions done before I don't really do that because I feel like I don't need to do that with my skin I just make sure to always have have clean skin at night oh so we were talking about these pads yeah if I'm not masking I'll do this these pads 
or the toner that my dermatologist prescribes me ran out so i'm like let me see how my skin does without that toner from the dermatologist i'm gonna give my skin a month to see maybe if it changes because that toner is for dark spots and i did notice this dark spot did lighten up so we'll see how it works in the meantime i'll probably use these once a week maybe twice a week not every day i don't like to do certain things in night skin Skin routine every single day the only thing that I maintain every single day is this eye cream and washing my skin so let's use this let's use the tread no one just because so we're gonna just use it here a little bit goes a long way you always want to get everything there I like to go with a thick moisturizer. The moisturizer I love so much that I ran out was the Osea moisturizer. It's a thick white moisturizer. I like going with thicker moisturizers at night because that's the nighttime. It's kind of where your skin gets the most moisture at night. And I have oily skin, so I don't want to use something heavy throughout the day. It confidence in a cream. I get a good amount, like maybe like this. Tretinoin has been on my skin for a while. Really get in there always get my neck and i recently started using a gua sha so a gua sha is this tool you go like this and it helps with puffiness i'm puffy like i told you guys out i probably won't be puffy tonight because i haven't been eating like crap and i haven't drank so that drinking always will have me look at a hot mess so what i do you just go gently with this curve i go with the curve of my face so you go like that. And this is a Sachu. I got, I got it at Ulta and I've seen such a difference. Oh, skincare is definitely a must. So this, I usually do it just for a little bit. You can put it also in the refrigerator so it's cool. Nice, moisturized and ready to go to bed. Do my skincare before I go to bed. 30 minutes before I go to bed so everything can sink in. I always let things sink in. Like the trend, no one, I let it sit for three minutes. This, I'm gonna let it, you know, sit for a little bit. You can also put in oil if you prefer oil as your moisturizer. My goal for this video, especially at night, is to one, drink water, to remove your makeup take it off all of it scrub that thing down if you have to you don't want to have any remnants of anything and that's what these toners like anything you can just rub your face after with some sort of toning solution not only is it going to help with pores typically or discoloration it's going to let you know if you cleaned your face well sometimes you know there's spots you miss i do that all the time you know lip balm we can't be all ashy here with dry lips night skincare looking good looking fresh so fresh and so clean ready to go to bed it's not bedtime though it's like only six but the sun's out so i want to take pictures so you guys can see my skin i'm gonna see you tomorrow morning so we can do the day skincare and makeup prep familia we have enough sunlight so i can show you my skin this is how it looks nighttime skincare you guys see i do have pores i have discoloration but you see the skin is super clean ready for bed oh Oh my god, I just love taking off my makeup. It just feels so good. Okay, for real, see you tomorrow. Good morning, good morning. I'm back, I'm back. I just showered, washed my face with face wash like I did yesterday. Now, what I do in the morning time, uh, this is my skincare box. <laughs> when I don't wear makeup, so I'm not gonna wear makeup today, I will do a clay mask. I don't wear makeup maybe once a week because I'm always, always filming. So the one time a week I don't wear makeup, I'll do my mask. We're gonna use this Rare Earth Deep Pouring Cleansing Mask. I love clay mask because I have big pores and oily skin, and this helps control that a little bit. It keeps my skin so soft. <sighs> I like to just spread this. I'm not neat when it comes to masks. I'm kind of messy. This mask will give a little tingling feel. People, you know, have tools and stuff. I have my hands as my tool. Leave this for about 10 minutes or when it's dry. This is how it looks. Like, ooh. Usually clay mask, you'll see your pores because it kind of just gets that gunk out of the skin. So... I love clay masks, especially this one. It does this tingling effect and then it makes my skin look so soft and super glowy throughout the day, especially because I don't wear makeup when I put this mask on. I just wash the mask off with only water, no soap. So now that the skin is wet, I'm gonna go directly in with my essence having your skin wet is really gonna activate this because the wet skin will give your skin that moisture instead of applying this essence on a dry surface so let me show you so now that we have it on you see it's a little slimy 
and you're gonna go right in on your wet face. It dries down pretty quickly. I always bring it down the neck. Now we're starting the waiting game. You see how my skin is wet? We're gonna have to wait for this to dry. It typically takes a minute or two. As we wait, I like to be productive. I like to do things around so I'm not just waiting around and feel like the time is just going by. So I'm gonna use my Lumify eye drops. I use these every day. Oh my God, I'm running out. Hold on. Here we are. Ooh, a new package. Here we are. Just one in one. You're gonna see my eyeballs are gonna turn white. So fast. I got my tears going. You see? Ooh. Face is still a little bit wet. As I'm waiting. I've been using this ordinary glycolic acid toning solution for my pit as my deodorant. It really helps with sweat and smell. I'll put it in a cotton pad and just go here. So, you know, I'm being productive too. I'll go wet my sponge. I'll prep my makeup while I'm letting my skincare dry down. Okay, now we are dry. You see the skin, it already looks hydrated. And this is just the first step. Next step I go in, stay up. Next step I go in is with vitamin C. I've been using Desi's Claroque C vitamin C and I really, really like it. I don't know if my hyperpigmentation has also lightened since I started using this. It's kind of hard to tell because I have my dermatologist toner that I've used, which is why I stopped using it. Let's see if this is it because I really feel like my manchas have gotten so much lighter. So vitamin C I use in the morning. You can use whichever vitamin C you have and I'm gonna get like a pump or two and then we're gonna do this one more time. Anytime I'm touching my face, my hands are clean. I went to go wash them right now since I put the, the stuff on in my pits. And then again, we're gonna let this dry to kind of do this motion too and i already have my water ready for the day i'm gonna be away from home most day most of the day today so i always bring my water bottle and so while we let this dry you see we have hydration nice nice again maybe two to three minutes i'm gonna go in with my eye cream this belief moisturizing eye gel shout out to my friend here on youtube ari because she put me onto this maybe like a year or two ago and i've been loving this eye cream since not only it moisturizes your under eye your eye area but it gives it this plump anytime i don't use it i don't i don't have the plump i don't have the plump with my ring finger a little bit goes a long way i always use my ring finger we start at the top and then work my way. And I tap and then press. Whew, my fave, my favorite eye cream ever. I do want to talk about this eye cream. This Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base, it works so great for makeup. Because I'm not going to wear makeup, I'm not going to use this today, but anytime I wear makeup, I put this on either by itself or just on top of this one when I just let it dry. Oh my gosh, you know how I bake my under eyes? It just keeps the eye area so hydrated and it works super, super well with makeup. So this one goes on sale, I've noticed, at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, which is where I bought it. It literally feels like butter. You know how butter with a little bit, it gets very movable? Same thing. I really feel like it's butter for the under eye. Okay, are we dry down? One thing about morning skincare that I find that works with makeup is hydration. I put the essence on, it hydrated the skin. I put the vitamin C on, it hydrated the it hydrates the skin, I mean. So when you go in with the moisturizer, you want to go with the moisturizer that's not too hydrating. I personally like creamy moisturizers, not water-based or gel-based moisturizers. I find that a lot of those types of moisturizers, although they may work well with oily skin, it doesn't work well with makeup because most foundations are silicone based. It's hard to find a straight up water-based foundation. Although I have oily skin, I like to go with the bit of a thicker cream not too thick not too thin and because it is a creamy texture I do go in with a little bit because I already have the things underneath that is already providing hydration to my skin do you know what I'm saying this one the Dermalogica skin smoothing cream is a good one and then I started using the Ren clean skincare gel cream this is a gel cream but the texture is more a cream so we're gonna use this today and let me show you this is what I like and this really works well with makeup I just get this much I don't do too much because I'm also gonna go in with a bunch of sunscreen are we dry down yep ready to go i don't know why but i start with my cheek go in and then my forehead always my neck 
my next my next i love this ren skincare they're a clean skincare any product i've used is so great it's like lightweight but moisturizing it gets the job done in a very easy way you know and while we do that while we wait around i'm gonna put some of this and actually i'll probably go make my coffee right now and then come back with sunscreen let's talk about sunscreen okay skin is skinning okay sunscreens i've been loving lately is the kosas i do find that the kosas those those i do i do find that kosas does peel if you don't wait for your moisturizer to dry down long enough there's been plenty of times that i haven't waited and i get the peeling sensation and then when i do wait it doesn't peel so just the fyi but i really like this this works very very well with makeup and without makeup the one i've been using and that i'm just really surprised how good it is it's the murad city skin age defense spf 50 it's a mineral sunscreen i prefer mineral sunscreens over chemical sunscreens i'll put a chart here to show you what the difference is let me show you so i typically use this much i usually go with my middle finger kind of measure it this way and then we're gonna rub 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 it had a bit of a white cast but it will blend in quick it's gone mm -hmm. I will use my gua sha, so I just kind of, because my skin is has the moisturizer and like the sunscreen, it glides nicely. So we can just do this motion. I do it maybe about five times, typically at night. This also helps to drain extra fluid. It makes you look snatched. To be consistent with this and gentle. All right, so this is it, familia. Let me put my eyebrows on. All right, fam, I'm done, ready to go. I just put my brows on. I used the refi, a little bit of the gel, and then added my pen, you know, per the use. And I always add a plump gloss. It gives the lips that pink look, and it just gives the face a little bit of color. So you guys, this is the skincare routine for makeup or no makeup days. I really like to keep my skin very hydrated and moisturized in order for the makeup to last all day long and this is how my skin usually looks after sunscreen and i'll do my eyebrows let the sunscreen really sink in oh my god look at this sink in and dry down and then i go in with the makeup i hope it wasn't too much because i'm like i really wanted to explain every single step and why i do it and how it works so wanted to put this all in one video so you have it as a reference because i don't think i've ever done a skincare video like this in depth and in detail so i really hope this was helpful i will link everything down below let me know if you have any questions and i love you guys so much thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye